Welcome back to the channel. In the video today, I will tell you my experience on how to respond to difficult technical interview questions when you are being interviewed for a job as a consultant for SAP or any other ERP system. And I think it can also be applicable to most of the jobs in the IT field. My experience is coming from working as an SAP consultant for the last 10 years. I have been interviewed a lot and I have also interviewed other people for junior and senior positions. So I will tell you my experience, I will tell you my point of view on how to respond to difficult technical questions. Then I would also like to hear what you think, whether you agree with me or disagree. And if you disagree, then what do you think? How to respond to difficult technical interview questions? First of all, let's agree on the objective of the technical interview. So if you are applying for the job and I am the interviewer, my objective is to know how good technically you are and to know how you respond under pressure and to know how you respond when you don't know the answer. So this is actually one of the objectives of the interview because we work in the IT field and normally every day we have new updates, new versions, new functions. No one knows everything. It's completely normal that there are things we don't know. And whenever you are facing a customer or you are working in your company with your colleagues and you are being asked questions, it's completely normal that you are being asked questions that you don't know the answer to. So how are you going to respond when someone asks you a question that you cannot answer? So this is one of the objectives of the interview. This is why whenever I go to a technical interview, the interviewer will keep asking questions that are more and more difficult. So if you can answer this question, I will ask you a more difficult one, then a more difficult one until we get to a level that I cannot answer anymore. And here it is very important how I act when I'm being asked this question. So number one, do not panic. It's completely normal that you don't know the answer. Number two, admit that you don't know the answer. Never give wrong information. This is very important. One of the main reasons projects fail in the ERP industry is because a consultant gives wrong information to the customer. So the customer asks a question and the consultant is trying to prove how good he is by giving an answer that he is not sure about to a question. And then the customer will chase the consultant for the rest of the project asking for what he promised. So whether you work as a consultant or a salesperson in the technical industry, never give wrong information. So number one, do not panic. Number one, admit that you don't know the answer. Number three, say how you are going to find it. So it's completely normal that I'm being asked a question I do not know how to answer. This is a new function, this is a new update, or this is just something that I don't know. So I don't know the answer. But to know the answer, I'm going to check this blog or I'm going to check this website or I'm going to ask my connections. I have a big LinkedIn community on, uh, that's connected with me on my LinkedIn profile that I can ask. So if I put a question, people can respond. This is actually an add-on. This is something that's good. So try to say how you are going to find the answer to this question in a very easy and calm way. And this is it. This is my point of view on how to respond to difficult technical interview questions. Leave me your stories. I would really love to hear your experiences, whether you have been interviewed or you interviewed someone. Tell me what you think about this point of view. Also tell me what do you think if you are interviewing someone and he says, I don't know. Is it really a bad situation? Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.